consideration. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Miltenberger. Oral questions. Member from Wilde, Mr. Bromley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in my statement earlier today, I talked about how people in the NWT are concerned about fracking, and my questions today are for the Minister of Environment and Natural Resources. Many people are concerned, and for good reasons. I would like to know, has the Minister heard these concerns? Does he understand that people are concerned, or at least acknowledge that does he at least acknowledge that they might be concerned? Merci. Thank you, Mr. Bromley. Mr. Miltenberger. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Yes, I'm aware that there's a wide range of views about hydraulic fracturing. I've been recipient of some correspondence uh, through the Council of Canadians, for example, expressing their concern. I do, uh, I do read uh, the newspapers, listen to the news, uh, and talk to people. And yes, I have heard uh, some of those concerns. Thank you. And I believe I do understand them. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Miltenberger. Oral questions, Mr. Bromley. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thanks to the Minister for that understanding. The, uh, the petition I'll be tabling later today, of course, uh, signatures from uh, at least 24 communities, uh, including all Sawtu communities and so on. Mr. Speaker, the MBRMA legislation says that any agency of the territorial government can refer a proposed project to a full environmental assessment. We have literally hundreds of agencies, public health agencies, environmental protection agencies, and so on, yet none of them re referred the previous fracking application for environmental assessment. Did our government issue a directive or instructions telling all agencies not to issue a referral, or did each agency make that decision on their own? Must Thank you, Mr. Romney. Mr. Miltenberger. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my understanding <coughs> in regards to the concerns out of the Sawtu about water is, is the concern is specifically about the water being withdrawn from fish lakes as opposed to being withdrawn from the Mackenzie. Uh, I do believe that issue is being looked at and uh, hopefully will be addressed. In regards to was there a directive from government, uh, no, there wasn't in regards to instructing any, any agency or part of government to automatically uh, reject or, or not require environmental assessments of fracking. fracking. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Miltenberger. Oral questions, Mr. Bromley. Mr. Speaker, and I'm glad the Minister understands at least one of the eight uh, major concerns that I read out in my uh, uh, earlier uh, speaking today. Mr. Speaker, the, uh, as we all know, devolution will be taking effect as of April 1st. After that date, will any agencies of the GNWC be permitted to make an independent decision on a proposed project, or will all decisions be made by the Executive? Merci. Thank you, Mr. Bromley. Minister of Environment and Natural Resources, Mr. Miltenberger. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the intent is to have a made in the North regulatory uh, regime that brings together the uh, regulatory authorities, both uh, the oil and gas, uh, through uh, water and minerals, lands with ITI, ENR, and the Lands Department. We intend to be very thorough, very rigorous and we want to coordinate our efforts. There is going to be responsibilities that require uh, the various uh, regulatory agencies and bodies to respond as regulators. There's going to be some requirements for technical responses, and we're going to look very uh, thoroughly at, at all those uh, project applications that come in, and we will, uh, we will in fact, provide that, uh, that rigor and timeliness that we've committed to. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Miltenberger, final short supplementary, Mr. Bromley. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. I look forward to that uh, <laughs> on time. Mr. Speaker, the MVRMA gives criteria for determining uh, when a project should be referred for an environmental assessment. I would assume that we use the criteria listed in the legislation. I'd be happy to give the Minister a reference to that, Clause 125, Section 1. Um, I would assume that we use the criteria listed in the legislation, but to be sure, would the minister commit to making public the criteria this government and its agencies use when deciding whether to refer a project to environmental assessment, even if it's following the legislation? Must you? Thank you, Mr. Romney. Minister Miltenberger. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, we'll provide that information to the, to the House. Oh, sorry. Mr. Speaker, we'll provide that information to the House. Thank you. Mr. Holtman.